How y'all doing? Could, could y'all do me a favor and smile? There you go. Yeah, that happened. Okay. Thank you so much to the business record. And it's 10,000 families now, by the way. Thank you, Impact, for helping those 10,000 families. Um, thank you to the fantastic sponsors. Thank you for seeing me. And thank you for seeing all of the other amazing awardees this evening. I want to give a special thank you to North Risk Partners and Conlon Properties for making it possible for some of our outstanding staff, board members, and volunteers to attend this evening. And for Terry for nominating me. Thank you to my unbelievable family. You've always been so supportive and understanding when my work stole time and attention from you. I have had amazing luck to be surrounded in my life and career by women who influenced me to be fearless and speak not only my truth, but to speak for others whose voices have been stolen or silenced. Many are here tonight, a couple couldn't be, but I want to speak their names. Rita, Rita Ferno, those of you that don't know, social justice warrior who raised me. Alex, Jordan, Taylor, Lana, Arlene, Twyla, Jen, Colette, Clarissa, and Julio, and there are many others. You have made me better, but in all actuality, everyone in this room has influence. Believe me, if you didn't have influence, you wouldn't be in this room. People watch you. They read what you write, they hear what you say, and it influences people. Speaking of influence, I'm a huge TikTok fan. Are there any other TikTok fans out here? <laughs> All right, thank you, thank you. There's a new trend on TikTok going around where a woman says, what is a scam that has become so normalized in America that we no longer know it's a scam? I have an answer. The common conceptions we have about people experiencing poverty and income insecurity and why people are poor. Here are a few of those misconceptions that we have become way too comfortable with. The social safety net is a hammock. From personal experience and the experience we have at Impact every day, we know that the social safety net isn't a hammock. It's a tightrope. Nearly impossible to land on and even more difficult to stay on. Thank you. Yeah, here's, here's another fan favorite. People in poverty need, need to have skin in the game. If you have ever thought this, I urge you to watch the film Made on Netflix. Watch that film, and I think you will recognize that folks that are struggling on the economic margins already have plenty of skin in the game. The one that I think is the most difficult to overcome, in our community, Anyone can be economically self-sufficient if they just fill in the blank. If they try hard enough, if they get a good education, if they budget correctly. Dr. Mark Rank, in his recent book, Poorly Understood, you might want to write that down, you're going to want to read it, likens the job market in the U.S. to a game of musical chairs, where 60% of the jobs, or chairs, pay a self-sustaining wage full-time with benefits, and 40% are low-paying or part-time or do not have benefits, or more likely all three of those. Those 40% of jobs do not provide nearly enough to sustain, a to sustain a family, and those are the current numbers in the United States. So in this game of musical chairs, imagine there are 100 people and 60 chairs. The game is structured for winners and losers. No matter what, 40 of those people are not getting chairs. There simply are not enough chairs. So when you are out and about wondering about all those help wanted signs, I want you to ask yourself, what kind of chairs are those jobs? It has been an absolute privilege to commit my life and career to the work of knitting a safety net out of tight ropes, providing some solace to those who have far too much skin in the game, and fighting for ending the nonsensical game of musical chairs. 
I have more myths to bust, and I welcome a coffee date any time if you want to hear more about the reality of those living in poverty. Thank you again for seeing me and seeing my work. <laughs>